right. So here we go. I'm going for the number one. I'm not going for the full, the full skin. It's coming off finally. Been losing, been losing it for I don't know, probably about 13 years now. And it gets to the point where I'm spending ages styling my hair. Um, yeah, you know, it's, just, it's just starting to get a little bit more, you know, visible, let's say. And as you can see, I'm styling it like this. And it's silly, really. So I'm going back here. And then at the back, I'm starting to fit out as well. So it's all coming off. Jesus. <laughs> oh my lord. Feeling it. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> hmm. What do you reckon? Oh, wow! <laughs> what do you think? It's good. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Where's Mum? Upstairs. You haven't done it already, have you? Oh my god, you did it already. That's <laughs> it. beautiful. Do you like it? What do you think? I like it. I actually quite like it. I just, I just need a bit more of a tan on my head, I think. And, I think it's uh, lovely. Yeah. Where it all started was, I mean, when I was when I was younger, I used to have quite short hair anyway. So I'd always go for the the crop, you know, or like a number one or a number two all over. Um, but I remember I was when I was younger, probably like sixteen years old. Um, my dad used to be a carpet cleaner, and I remember I was helping him one Saturday um, cleaning carpets. Yeah, sitting in his like van having like a sandwich and he said to me he went you're losing your hair I went well I, I didn't even know what that meant I didn't even know that was a thing because no one no one in my family had ever lost their hair or yeah. there, was, there was there was no hair loss um so I didn't quite know what to what to think I said really and he said yeah it's going back so from that point forward I was always a little bit self-conscious right moving forward from there um but 
yeah, like over over the next couple of years, like I kind of, um, yeah, I, I started to grow it out because I started to notice a little bit of loss, you know, I started to notice the hairline going back and back. So I started growing it out and it got to the point where over the past few years, you know, I'm, I must have looked like a bit of a bit of an idiot, really. So I was going for like the really short sides with length on top. Yeah. You know, kind of like, you know, thinning right. out and... And yeah, yeah, the comb, yeah, over, nice. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I like it wouldn't be that. I mean, every now and then I'd get a little comment from someone saying, "Fucking hell!" Like, sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to swear. Right, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so, the, the, every now and then, like, I'd get a friend who would say, or a friend, or, or someone who I was out with would say, "You're losing your hair," and I'd be like, "Well, people can people can see what's what's happening." Yeah. So anyway, I clung on, you know. Yeah. Like, I was in maybe in denial a little bit, um, but then I were you got, using like products and things like that to try and hold on to it, or was it just styling it mainly? Yeah, do you know what? Start. I mean, I, I was I was doing things like I was, you know, all the shampoos, things like that, where you think it's gonna uh, kind of slow down the hair loss. Um, I can't remember like the brand names, but the classic ones like in the grey yeah. bottle with the red top. So oh. those kind of ones, and I was using all of that and. I mean, it might have it might have been like a temporary fix, I guess, maybe. Um, but I, I don't know who I thought I was fo- like fooling, really. Yeah. So um, yeah, and in hindsight, I look back and I, it's it's, it's, a, it's something that I should have just done years ago, really. Yeah. So, I think yeah. you know it's a, it's common, right? We see it time and time again. It happens to you know it's how most people like when they shave it and embracing that. It's a similar story, you know. It's they start go. It's starts going and, and most most people do hold on to it too long or at least they after they shave it looking back they think oh i, I really should have just could i could have just done this sooner. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, saved, yeah. saved a lot of pain and whatnot so so it starts going like pretty young for you then like what 16 17 yeah, yeah kind of like 16 16 17 around that kind of age but as i say it was so out of the blue because there's no one in my family. Your dad, your dad had his hair still. Yeah, I mean, my dad, my dad's, how old's my dad now? My dad's sick, like approaching his late 60s, like 66, 67. And his hairline's down here, you know? And, and, it's, and he's only just really started to grow. Yeah. So um, I might have to get like a DNA test. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my dad. And on my mum's side, um, yeah, everyone's got hair. I mean, I might have had like a like a distant like uncle or great uncle somewhere who might have gone bald, but um, or lost their hair, but no nobody immediately like in my immediate line in in the family. So as it's like going in that, obviously your dad sort of was one of the first people to notice it. Did you end up? Did you like speak to you know a bit few later on, like when you get into your twenties? Um, how old are you now? Sorry, I'm 27, 27. Yeah, okay, cool. So 27. So as you're like, I don't know. 24 25 were you like uh, speaking to people about this mates or whatever or was it yeah. really something you just tried to forget about yeah i mean it was a bit of both so i was chat like because i've got um i've got a couple of mates who have just you know shaved all of their hair off as well so i'd speak with them and i had a, well I've, I've got a couple of mates who would always say to me just do it like I'll, i've got the clippers i'll come around i'll do it and i've always just gone no no no, no. you know just uh <laughs> kind of like been a little bit standoffish about it but they've done it and um you know and they look great and no one can remember what any of these people look like before they you know shaved all their hair off so yeah. and uh yeah and that's it but the one thing i was a little bit hung up about and i still can't I've, all of my friends who have got no hair like, like you have got a beard all so right, okay. quite yeah. a strong beard yeah i can't grow a beard so um i've uh, I, i'm working with a lot of patch on my face so um, i guess that helped with them yeah do you do you you must be able to grow some facial hair though like a little bit here little bit here you know a little shadow yeah a tiny shadow yeah Yeah. and i think you know even that even that helps if you you know like a four or five days sort of thing like this thing about the beard as well i I almost regret um growing mine a little bit because that is a common thing that people say you know they're like i I can't grow a beard and it stops a lot of people from take, you know, yeah. shaking it off because they obviously think like, it's almost like you need to have it. Now I, it's, it's difficult for me, right? Cause I, I've got a big beard here and for me to sit here and say, Oh, you don't need a beard. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's like, 
But it's, um, one, uh, it's, it's what I, I guess if you can grow it, you know. Yeah, it helps. You, you got yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, long yeah. as you can grow something, I think it does help. I think it just looks, uh, you know, it just adds a bit of character to your face. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I know what you mean. Yeah, I think um, it's like it's just nice to be able to do that. And if you can't, yeah, you you might be a bit hung up on it. I can see that, and other people do mention that to me. So. Obviously, it's it's gone on. A few mates are saying, like, mate, just you know, just yeah, getting it. comments. And like, even like, even like my like my dad, my dad, my mum, uh, like my stepdad, they'd make little comments and they'd just say, just shave it off, like. And it was getting to the point where people were just really starting to notice. And yeah. I'm covering it up. I'm spending like half an hour a day styling my hair, you know. And it just it started to get ridiculous. Yeah. And but I was worried. I thought if I do it. Um, People are going to, I'm going to get slated by my friends. Um, I thought, I'm never going to, what's it going to be like with girls? Like, I'm yeah. never going to, I'm, I'm never going to get laid again. Like, I th- what's yeah. going to happen? Like, I, 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 just, I just didn't know. So, yeah. Um, but it's one of those things. And I, and I, and I went for it and I was a little bit, oh, a little bit like, um, a little bit worried. But yeah, I'm so glad I went for it. In fact, I was at the pub uh, with a couple of my friends on like a Friday night and they said, um, just go for it. You just got to go. Just, 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 you know, bite the bullet. And I've got a friend who's got hair, like long yeah. hair, and he loves rocking the short hair look. Oh, so, really? And he was like, "Mate, just do it. Like it's, 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 it's going to catch on. You got to go for it." So, so I, I went on, go on. Sorry, mate. Sorry. So, what was the like? You know, so, so you've been hanging on to it, whatever. You get to like where well, you must have been twenty-seven or twenty-six when you did it. What was yeah. the thing that changed them? Like. For me, like, and for a lot of other people, they sort of hit like a rock bottom moment, you know, like they get called out for it and it really hurts them or they they like miss out on an experience or they avoid, you know, they're starting to avoid like swimming and stuff yeah. like that. And they realize like, nah, like I've got to, to stop this now. What was there any, was it like a big moment for you or was it just like that constant build up or what changed in your mind to sort of say, OK, I'm going to do it? Yeah, it was more the build up. If I'm honest, so yeah. it was the, it was it, it was the it was the build up, S- seeing everyone else, you know, just 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 going for it, and yeah. I guess it gets to the point where you're you're worried about what other people are gonna think, yeah. and like none of that matters at all, you know. Yeah. So and and I was there, and my friend said, get this off of uh, off of Amazon Prime, like recommended me the one, and I just ordered it and just went for it. But it was a build up and. Things like this as well, like I'd be in the hairdressers, you know, and I was in the hairdressers once every one to two weeks, you know, getting my hair cut just so it looked, um, you know, presentable, like, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. So some hair still, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, because when it grew out, it looked even worse, you know. Like when I was really growing it out, it looked, it, it was just so obvious. So my hairdresser knew, and there was one day where he kind of held the mirror up behind and took it away a little bit too quick. Oh yeah. And I said, whoa, I said, put that mirror back. And he held it up. I said, oh. I, said I didn't realise it was that bad. At the like back. at the back as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, because I thought it was just going up the front, but it was at the back as well. So, um, like, that was it. Yeah. So I said, this, I, said, this, I said, this might be the last time we see each other, you know, in here, in the hairdressers. And, um, yeah, and that was it. And then I... Went and I did it, and I went for it. Yeah, a week or two later. So it was like an accumulation of things, but I guess yeah, it would have been you know when f- people first started suggesting you did it, you was like no, and then as more people suggested, it, you thought well, and then you realised like yeah, I can't keep going on like this forever, or it's not it's not like it's going to come back. That changes to a maybe, right? Yeah. And then it's like you start getting it in your mind thinking well, what if I did do it? Like, would it be that bad? And then, you know, it builds up, builds up, and you think, hey, let's just go for it, you know? And, and, and I mean, as I said, it, it gets to the point where the reason you're not doing it is because you're, you're, you're worried about what other people are going to say, what other people are going to think when... Yeah. It, it, yeah, that should not be a factor. No, it should no. be a factor. So you did go for it, right? Mm. You went for it. And tell me how that all played out in the next, you know, the, the few, you know, how it played out in the moment and then sort of, immediate time after that yeah so I went for it and like cut it all off and I went down really I didn't realize it would be as short but I went on like the number one setting and did it and it was quite um I don't know I don't want to say severe but it was quite close it was quite a close shave yeah um and 
initially I was all right with it. I was fine. But it wasn't until I started going out and seeing kind of like people like through work, like going out and seeing clients, people getting really, like really taken back. And if I'm honest, I went through a good few weeks, I'd say, or maybe even a month of just thinking, what have I done? Why, why have I done this? And it was a lot to come to terms with, especially because when I first did it, I felt really, you know, confident and really happy with it. Um, but over that next month, I don't know why, um, but I was, I don't know, I was, I was really down about it. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So for those first, that, that, for those first few weeks or for that first month, I was really, yeah, really down. And, and like I said, this is, we said off camera, this is why I really wanted to, you know, get this set up and, and hear it from your perspective. Because like I said, there's going to be other people that might have the same experience after that initial buzz. Yeah. Like, pardon the pun. Yeah. You know, like, of like going for it and you're sort of, you're hyped up on that. You've done it, you know, and then maybe as that subsides and if you haven't, I think for me, what it is, is because it's quite a big action and you've changed a big part. If you don't like also change like other areas or find like other positive things to focus on, yeah, uh, you can find yourself like thinking about it uh, like too much. You know, you're sort of second guessing yourself and you're sort of thinking like you, you know, like you mentioned, like, oh, have I done the right thing? Because it's almost like you haven't replaced those like thoughts. So before it was the thought of like, oh, I'm losing my hair. Right. And once you take it off, if you can't find, if you haven't like really focused on other positive things, I think those thoughts go from the hair loss to I'm bold, you know, yeah. and now no yeah. hair. And you, before you, you were worrying about like, can people notice the hair loss and that? I say you isn't in a sense of, you know, like every day. Yeah, yeah, in general, yeah. Yeah, in general. And now you're sort of thinking, oh, are people noticing like the bold head and, and you know, and what are they thinking of it? Like you said, maybe clients and old friends you might not have seen for a while you know yeah yeah exactly that um but it's it's strange i look back on it now mm. i think why why was i why was i feeling like that you know yeah. why and i can't really put too much of a finger on it um but i think you're probably right it's it's one of those things where you've been hyping it up for so long then it happens and then you're living with it every day i think it's just coming to terms with it because it's such a big change and when yeah. i look at how long it took me to bite the bullet and go for it you know we're talking like 10 11 years yeah um, like f from the first comment or first realizing to actually doing it so it is a big change but i tell you what now looking back you know it's um it's the best thing i've ever done and i should have just done it so long ago Ooh.